wanted to talk a little bit about paragraph spacing and how you can improve your word count per page and make things read a little bit easier. Let's get started. So this is an example of some text that you might get from a client. And uh, you'll see that the way that the uh, original writer has formatted things, uh, they've inserted these line breaks in between every paragraph and after every header. And that's perfectly fine for an official document that uh, doesn't really require a lot of uh, finesse in their topography and whatnot. But if you're going to publish something, you really want it to flow very naturally. One of the other issues when you get text like this is that it can really break your um, uh, bullet lists where they've inserted an extra line break. It actually creates another bullet point in between uh, line items and you want to remove those as well. The easiest way to clean up a document like this is to use your find change function to search for caret p, caret p. That represents two line breaks in a row. And you want to replace all of those with a single caret p. In other words, a single line break. Now I change all and I have replaced 21 instances. So now you can see that um, all the paragraph breaks are now single paragraph breaks. But you'll also see that the problem is that now there's almost no break at all in any of these uh, paragraphs, which is a problem for a few reasons. One, it just makes a wall of text. Uh, but also you get some formatting errors where the text intersects with this rule that I have underneath the first level header. So uh, first, the first step um, is to update the paragraph styles that, that I've set. Um, every one of these paragraphs that I have here has been formatted with the body text paragraph style that I created earlier. If you want to, you can also manually edit an individual paragraph's spacing if you wish. For either of these options, you'll go to the window and type in tables and select paragraph to bring up the paragraph uh, panel that you see here. That's for an individual paragraph uh, modification. If you want to change the entire uh, paragraph style that you're, that you're setting for any, any kind of paragraph, but in this case, the body text, uh, you would instead go to uh, Window, Styles, Paragraph Styles. And that's what I have selected over here, and that's what I'll be modifying for this demonstration. So I'm opening up the body text paragraph style. I'm going to Indents and Spacing, and you'll see that I have zero set for all of these. There's a number of options here for indenting, uh, first line indenting, um, and I'll leave those to, uh, to discuss in a separate video, but our primary focus right now is these, uh, these two items here, space before and space after. Uh, that, it, in other words, is saying how much space is before this paragraph and how much space is after this paragraph. Um, and you'll also see as a secondary option, space between paragraphs using the same style, which is going to be important for the bulleted list, but I'll discuss that in a moment. Uh, so my basic rule of thumb for any paragraph spacing um, that breaks up two, two paragraphs is to just take the uh, whatever the current letting is, uh, that is the line height, um, and cut that in half and make that the spacing that I put after the paragraph. That's my basic rule of thumb uh, as a starter. And usually it results in something that uh, flows nicely, keeps the same information density that I would prefer, uh, but doesn't crowd out the page and uh, and cause overset text. Um, so let's just say I have my letting set to 14 in this case. It's a little bit tight, uh, but let's, let's just use this for an example. So my letting is 14, and my space after, we'll I'll cut that in half, so that would be 7 point. And let's take a look at that page now. As you can see, I don't have any more overset text, but I also don't have these huge uh, gaps in between paragraphs that were interrupting the flow of text. Um, there's some more refinement I need to do after this point, though. If you look closely at the header 2 style, you'll see that it has inherited the same spacing that I applied to the body text paragraph style, which means that it kind of looks a little bit closer to the text that precedes it than the text that is after it. So. I can go to my header paragraph style over here for header two. I double click that and I go back to indents and spacing. Uh, instead of space after being uh, 2.469 millimeters, or in other words, seven points, I'm going to make that just zero. And you'll see that preview so that it removes the spacing underneath header two here. 
uh, but I will continue to add uh, seven points above that header. So you see visually uh, now it's the equivalent of a full line break in between uh, the last paragraph of a section and the header for a new section without having to manually insert a line break in between. Uh, for me, this, this pays dividends when I have a very large document that has a lot of different headers and a lot of different sections. It's just way easier for me to modify one paragraph style that applies to the entire document rather than going manually through and adding line breaks every time I need to. So um, going through this again, uh, you can see that this header, uh, this header style for header one uh, does have an extra little bit of space now um, that uh, I kind of like. It is matching the, uh, again, the, uh, the same paragraph spacing that I applied to the body text paragraph style. Um, but let's just say I wanted to add just a little bit of extra space so that that header stands out a little bit more. So I'm going to my header one paragraph style. Again, I'm going to indents and spacing. And let's just say I want to have a full line height after that header. So that would be 14 points. There, that has modified that. Now I have a little bit of extra space there. Um, this is just barely on the edge. This is about as much content as I could fit into this document at its present size. But uh, I'm not quite done yet because I need to modify this bullet paragraph style. This is where I'll talk a little bit about the uh, modifications to spacing uh, between paragraphs that have the same style. So I have a separate bullet list paragraph style here. And I'm going to indent some spacing. And what I'm going to say is that I, I still want uh, the, uh, the normal amount of spacing after this paragraph that I have for the rest of the body copy. However, I don't want those gaps in between two line items. And I can even say I want a different amount of spacing between line items if I wish. But for the sake of example, let's just say we want to uh, remove any line breaks uh, or line spacing after every uh, individual line item. So I can, uh, instead of saying ignore here, I can pull down this drop down menu and say zero. And that will remove any of the spacing in between uh, the line items, but it will keep the standard uh, space after sp spacing. Uh, that I have for that uh, bulleted list overall. So you'll still have the space after the last item in this list over here. Um, um, and as you can see, we've still managed to keep uh, keep things within the uh, word count limit that we have on this on this page. We can make further adjustments here uh, if we wish, if we want to uh, open up that letting a little bit or make some further refinements. But uh, for the sake of example, I think this is uh, going over uh, I think the basics of what you'll use uh, most often in terms of paragraph spacing. Um, so I hope this is useful um, and I hope this produces some uh, better looking pages for you. Uh, so until next time, bye.